Hello everyone, Linda Israel here and I'm back with the January 21st creative prompt. I hope you're again, again enjoying these. Do check the description box down below for links to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group as well as my website, my blog, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of those good things. January the 21st, create a border around the outside edge of your journal page, leave writing space in the center, and then write about a turning point in your life. Well, I've got a page here that is a notebook paper or composition notebook paper, and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out of my journal so that I can have the whole space a little bit easier to work with. And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fold it in half back upon itself, and then I've got a scrap of paper here so I'm just gonna lay this across here and I have my I call this air rose stencil it's a hand draw stencil that I made and I thought arrows turning point so I'm gonna put that on my page and I'm going to use some distress ink and a blending tool so I'm just kind of line this up now this is gonna decorate the whole page, but I, then I will go around the edges with a decoration. So I'm using a little oval blending brush in fire brick red. My page is curled, there we go. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this texture to the page. So it's not just stark white. All right, I think that Gives me enough texture all the way around. I'm gonna close this up. By the way, to clean your brush, I use a little bit of rubbing alcohol in a towel. So I'll just spray this a couple of times with some rubbing alcohol. And then I'll just rub it onto a towel until the color is gone. If I know that I'm completely done with crafting for the day, I'll take it to the sink and then wash it with just a little mild soap and then let it dry. And that lets me use it for many different colors, so I don't have to have a brush for every color. All right, so we've got the page with a little bit of some background. I've got some archival ink and jet black, and then I have part of the journal quartet. There's four different journal fonts and four little rubber stamps and what I'm going to do is grab some of this ink and we're going to put that well right about here and then I've got the flowering branch and I'm going to stamp around this so I'm going to kind of just rotate the stamp every so often so that I can get a little bit of a border on my page I like doing this because I can make this one stamp go a long ways around my journal page. So there's going all the way around the outside edge, making a little border. And then I've got one of the Butterfly Beauties, I believe is what it is. It's a small little rubber stamp. And I thought that might look neat. Let's put it right about here. So it just adds a little interest to our page. Let's put it back in the journal and then I can journal. See how that looks? All right, so let's journal in here about a turning point in my life. I'm using the Sharpie No Bleed writing pen and I'll just show you that you don't really see it that much on this side of the page. You'll see the stamping a little bit more, but I like that it doesn't soak all the way through, so I can still write on the other side of the page. For my journal prompt today was to create a border and then write about a turning point in my life. A big turning point in my life happened when we sold our insurance agency. Things were not important to me. I didn't feel the need to buy things I did not need. Owning things makes life hard as we have to work hard to keep these things or those things so I'm slowly getting rid of things I don't need and it feels good to let it go so if you are burdened in your life because you feel like you have to work so hard to keep things maybe you need to reevaluate what is important and what are these things that you feel you need to keep you know we let go a lot of things we got rid of 
cable television, for example, and that saved us some money, and I got rid of a lot of subscription things, and I don't buy things just because I think I want it. I buy things because we need it. We need groceries. We need to buy laundry detergent, those types of things, and it feels good to get rid of stuff. I During my live streams, I give away prizes, and a lot of those prizes are things from my stash either they are complete items that I purchased or it could be things I've made from things in my stash so I'm getting rid of stuff a little at a time and it feels good to just let it go and not stress about it so hopefully this was an inspiration to you to let it go don't let it stress you out let that be a turning point in your life Again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment if you have any comments, and of course, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Again, check that description box below for links to the products that I use, as well as the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. I hope this inspires you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.